Hey, what's up everyone? Jeremiah here. Today I'm going to do a battery test with my DJI Spark drone and I'm going to take it into three different scenarios. I'm going to put it up in the air. I'm going to fly it around in regular mode with the obstacle avoidance on. We're going to see what kind of flight distance we can get and what kind of flight time. I'm going to take it up again with a second battery. I'm going to put it in sport mode, fly full speed, do circles, whatnot, and pretty much in all sport mode and see what kind of distance and flight time we can get out of that. And then on the third battery, I'm going to take it up put it in tripod mode not go real high but just cruise around hover a little bit try to get some good smooth footage and bring it back home I'm gonna try to land all three right about seven to ten percent and hopefully this gives you guys an idea of what kind of battery life you can get out of the DJI spark if you guys were looking to purchase it or you guys that already have one obviously you already know but pretty much if you guys are interested in purchasing this and trying to see what kind of flight time it gets it's not going to be the 15 minutes that it says it's going to be a lot less than that now I do have a little bit of extra weight put on here um, basically the battery strap which I definitely recommend I'll be doing a video on that on the accessories that I have in my uh, DJI spark case eventually and the Marco Polo that's basically a peace of mind for me in case my spark gets a mind of its own and flies away and any of the accessories I have here with my kit today that I'm using I'll put in a uh, description in the link below if you guys are interested in any of that stuff click on the links it'll take you to Amazon I do get a small commission for anything you guys might buy on there but it doesn't cost any anything extra to you so it'll help me out so please check it out guys I hope you guys enjoy this video and as always if you haven't done so yet please like subscribe comment definitely comment guys I love interacting with you guys and I hope you find this video useful so let's get right into it All right guys, now I'm out a little over a thousand feet. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it around. Bring it back home. And you'll still see it says about 10 minutes left. So we're just gonna cruise around here full speed in uh, non-sport mode with the obstacle avoidance sensors on. And you're just going to cruise around like this for a little bit and until it says the battery is low enough to come home. I'm going to try to bring it home around 20%. There's me standing down there in the yard. You can barely see me, but I'm down there. What's up, guys? Go back here and check out the river a little bit. Still got about seven minutes left. On, you can see some boats on the water down there. I guess I lost some signal there. Uh, it's going to start returning home. There it is there. We're just going to let it come home a little bit. Alright, I canceled it, and we're just going to keep cruising around. It's really hard for me to see my screen right now. Battery level's low. Battery level is low. The so we're just going to let it come home. The home point in and 10 uh, seconds. we're going to see how Go close home. it lands. 
it says I have two minutes 23 seconds left and pretty much I'm almost right above me uh, so yeah this is uh, pretty much how long you're gonna get out of a battery if you're flying in non-sport mode and your uh, obstacle avoidance sensors are on roughly around six mile an hour or so so I'm gonna bring it down here go into the settings see how, how long of a flight time I got Landing. and uh, we're gonna put the number two battery on and see what we can get from there All right, guys, so the first one landed, and it's really hard for me to see my screen right now, but it's at 8%. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys 7% now. So we're going to go ahead into the settings and see how long we got out of that battery, put number two on, and see what we get with that in sport mode. All right, guys, so I went into my settings, and I got 11 minutes and 26 seconds out of that flight exactly. So when I landed, I was at 8%, and that's about the max you're going to get as you're flying in regular mode, without sport mode and with the obstacle avoidance sensors on just cruising around pretty much real life scenario i pretty much held the stick full forward was going left right lost signal twice let it come back a little bit and pretty much i mean that's pretty much how it would be if you were just flying now we're going to go ahead and check out battery number two all right guys so i got the second battery on now just cruising around in sport mode pretty much full speed at 150 feet we're just cruising around seeing how many minutes we can get out of a battery Pretty much just up there doing circles every few hundred feet, cruising at uh, about 28 to 30 mile an hour. This footage probably doesn't look good, so I'm probably gonna, I'm probably not gonna use much of this B-roll in here. But we're just gonna fly around and go into the settings after and see how many. Oh, shoot, that sun's bright. I better bring it back here. Alright guys, so just hit the uh, return home from the battery level low. I'm at 19% right now. It's right above me pretty much. We're going to let it land and we're going to see, uh, go into the settings again and see how many minutes we got out of the second battery. We're at 11%, which is pretty close to the 8% that the other one was at. And we're going to go ahead into the settings here and see how long that one was. Alright guys, so actually that one was 11 minutes and 11 seconds, which was right around 18 or 20 some seconds shorter than the last flight. So actually you didn't get as much flight time in sport mode zipping around as you did in regular mode with the obstacle avoidance on. Now, I definitely made it a further distance than the last flight because I was in sport mode going 30 mile an hour versus regular mode with the obstacle avoidance on going between six and eight mile an hour so definitely covered more ground but definitely more uh, choppiness more unstable footage and yeah so we're gonna go ahead and go with the third battery now gonna just zip around here in tripod mode and see how long we can get out of that one I had to bring my camera up here in the shade because it was starting to overheat it's like 90 some degrees out here so now this one I'm just up hovering around and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and in and turn off the obstacle avoidance sensors I did a little bit of hovering, uh, just cruising around now, not in sport mode, with the obstacle avoidance off, going around 13 mile an hour, trying to get some decent footage. And this is what I recommend doing if you guys want to get some better footage for less uh, video editing. So go ahead and check out my other video if you guys haven't already done so. And if you found anything in here helpful, please like, hit the like button, and please subscribe. All right, now I'm at 50%, so I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and bring it down a little bit, put it in tripod mode, cruise around a little bit like that. The gimbal speed is so slow when you're in tripod mode. That's the only thing I hate about it. Now on this one, I'm not going to let it go into return home mode. I'm just going to fly it around and try to land it right around the 8 or 9% that the other two batteries landed at. I canceled the return home. We're at 13%. I'm going to go ahead and bring it over here. And land it. So we're at 10% battery life on the third battery and that was just up hovering around and then cruising around without sport mode, the obstacle avoidance off. And then we went ahead and put it in tripod mode with the obstacle avoidance on and just cruise around a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead into the settings there and see how long we got out of that battery life. And I'm hoping that you guys found this uh, interesting. If you guys were thinking about buying a Spark based on how long the batteries are gonna last, I have three batteries and I mean they're not bad I mean you, you can go out fly 10 11 minutes or so get 
pretty much what you need. You got to keep it in line of sight anyway, so um, you're going to get the shots that you need. But it would be nice to have the extra battery life, like the Mavic Pro um, or the Mavic Air. It has the Mavic Air has a little bit better battery life. The Mavic Pro has a lot better battery life. Um, obviously, it's a lot bigger though. I can't wait for the Mavic Pro 2 to come out and see what that has to offer. I guess I went into the settings there. I got 11 minutes and 18 seconds out of that flight. So it was a little bit longer than the last flight, but a little shorter than the first one right in the middle. So I would go ahead and say that right around 11 and 11 and a half minutes is going to be your average flight time for the DJI Spark. All right, so just to recap. On the first flight, we got 11 minutes and 26 seconds and flew a distance of 6,260 feet total. And the second flight, we flew a total of 11 minutes and 11 seconds in sport mode with the obstacle avoidance off, obviously, and flew a total distance of 19,721 feet. And in the third flight, we flew just around, hovered a little bit, put it in tripod mode. We flew a total flight time of 11 minutes and 18 seconds and flew a total distance of 3,000 675 feet so as you guys can see um, definitely a big difference in flight distances we flew way further in sport mode but uh, it's all going to average around the same time no matter if you're in sport mode whether you're in tripod mode just cruising around or whatnot basically 11 to 11 and a half minutes is average flight time camera's overheating again all right guys so i'm going to shut it down if you haven't done so yet man please subscribe please hit that like button. Please click on that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future tips or updates on any of my future videos. And I hope to see you guys again on the next one. All my subscribers, man, thank you. You rock. And if you guys aren't a subscriber yet, please, please subscribe, please like, please share. And I'm hoping to see you guys around on the next one. I got a lot of things coming up. I got I figured out a way to mount my Zhiyun Smooth Q on a chest mount, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a video on that. So please check it out, guys.